Hello, and welcome to Mama Sue's Southern Kitchen. As you can see, this is not Mama Sue today, all right? Tomorrow is Mama Sue's birthday, May the 17th, 19... I guess you can figure the rest of it out, or she can tell you if she wants to, but I'm not going to, okay? But anyway, I've been tasked with the uh, job of, of making a dessert for tomorrow. And I'll be 100% honest with you, I did not know what a trifle was. But we're going to do a lemon berry trifle. It's in, it's in the cookbook, in Mama Sue's cookbook, volume 2. It's on page 44. So if I really mess up, you can go to the book and see it and you can figure out where I made my mistakes and uh, how you're actually supposed to do it. Okay, it's easy. I don't have to cook anything. Everything is either bought, or if you had strawberries or blueberries of your own, or it's grown. So you don't have to. You don't have to really be a cook to do this. And you can make it's very pretty uh, dessert. We're going to put it in a bowl, a clear bowl here, so that you can see it. It's red, white, and blue. If you want to do it for uh, Fourth of July, it would be a good time to do it. Okay. We use uh, angel food cake that we bought at the store. Cut it into just little chunks, little cubes, about an inch. Cut the whole cake up. We got four, excuse me, got six, six ounce uh, things of yogurt. We were supposed to get six lemon. We couldn't find it, four lemon. So we got four lemon and two key lime pie. We're going to mix them. You're going to have to live with it. And, excuse me, and we've got... Uh, Strawberries. Let's see how many, how, many, how many we got. Okay, we've got a pound and a half of strawberries, and we've got a package of 24 ounces of blueberries. Okay, so and Cool Whip from there. So here's here's what we do. We're going to make a lemon berry trifle. All right. First thing you do is you layer the bottom of the bowl with about half of the uh, angel food cake. You can place them if you want to. I'm kind of dumping them, mashing them down, okay? Just cover up, try to get it where it won't, stuff won't seep through so much. And I'm, I'm going to guess how much is half that's cut up on this board. And that's probably about enough right there, okay? So once you, once you get the uh, angel food cake in there, your next level is uh, a third of the strawberries so this this was our pack of strawberries and we're going to take a third of those and just you don't have to place them again just cover up okay spread them out even if you can wash your hands beforehand okay let's see that's probably about enough right there we're going to use we'll use three there'll be three different layers of these okay you do uh, the red strawberries then again a third of the blueberries Sprinkle them out. Not hard to do. Looks impressive when you get through. Gets win you some brownie points. Okay, so there, there's the there's a third of the blueberries. Then next, we're going to use three of the layers, three of the containers of the yogurt, and I'm going to do two lemon and one lime as I go through. Okay, we're just going to scoop it out and put it on there the best you can. And then you'll spread it out and do it as, again, the best you can do. Uh, if it doesn't turn out, just eat it yourself. Don't, don't, take, it, don't take it out to uh, wherever you want to go. Okay, there's one lemon. Okay, this will be the second lemon we're doing here. We'll try to even it out, and I'll top this off maybe with the lime on top of that. And it may taste like a 7-Up when we get through. I don't know. But there we go. Uh, I, I noticed that when Sue does it, she talks as she, as she cooks, so I'm going to talk a little bit. We're going to Louisiana before long to be with the folks down there and kind of maybe lend a hand, be a granddaddy, that kind of thing, and go to ball games, do whatever his granddaddies do. This is the third one. This one is 
the uh, uh, lime and I'm, I'm going to kind of spread it out and even it up as I go through. Then we're going to build another layer just exactly the same, okay? Exact same way. All right, there's, there's that. So we're, we're halfway through and it hadn't taken very long, I don't think. Okay, so now we're, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the rest. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I forgot the cool whip. You can see Mama Sue's not far away. So she's instructing me. Half. Not quite half. Not quite half the cool whip, okay? So we'll just. It needs to be unfrozen. Okay, so you can get it in there. If not, you can probably put it in the microwave. What? Can't, so say don't put it in the microwave. Okay, don't, don't put it in the microwave. Okay, that's enough, and I want to spread that out a little bit. It's kind of clumped up in balls, but once I cover it up with this next layer, you won't ever know it. So, okay, here we go. All right, now we're going to start. We're going to do the whole thing, the whole process again. Do the rest of the cake. Am I correct? Okay. Do the rest of the cake. Okay, we're going to fill that thing up. We've got to leave room, and we've got to put the, got to put strawberries, blueberries, yogurt. And uh, the rest of the Cool Whip on top of that. Okay, there's the there's the uh, cake. We're going to do a third more of the strawberries. We're saving some strawberries for the end because we're going to make a design on the top. I got my tape measure on my side. <laughs> we'll get it lined up real good. We may make a baseball field. I'm not sure. Sue accuses me of said you measure everything, but I comes from. A lot of years of doing that kind of stuff, so that's what I that's what I do. Okay, all right. I'm saving some strawberries for the top. Now I'm going to do blueberries. Same thing. Need to pat them down, making some room at the top, kind of get it covered. We washed. We did, we did wash the blueberries and the strawberries when we got them from the store, and then cut the strawberries up. So, uh, we're covering that up real good there. All right, next is our yogurt again. So, we've got three more. I lost my spoon, Susie. Did you get my spoon? I believe you did. She took my spoon away, or else I put it in the mix one. I don't know. Here's my, here's, we're going to put three more lemon yogurts, two of which are lemon and one's lime. But you can use whatever you want to. If you want to do blueberry yogurt, or it's your cake. You make it however you want to make it. Okay. One more lemon. This is number five of the six packages. And when we get that one, we'll put the last uh, the last pack, and it is it is the uh, key lime, and we'll just kind of mingle it in here around the edge, doing a little bit lighter here, so we'll make it cover a bigger area. You can see you don't have to be you don't have to be a, a chef to do this, okay? And it will look more impressive than it actually was when you when you tell them, hey, yeah, I did that. Where'd you get that? Oh, I made it myself, my own self, my own two hands. So spread that out a little bit. Then we're gonna put Cool Whip on top of that, okay? And then we're gonna decorate the top with the rest of the strawberries and blueberries. And uh, be creative with your decoration. Find out, figure something that that's meaningful. So. I'm going to put, well, I don't know what I'm going to put on top of here. I started to say something, but Mama Sue's standing right here close by, keeping watch on me, making sure I don't do anything to embarrass her. You're doing great. I love it. It's, hard, it's kind of hard to spread that stuff out. But. Use that under spatula. Okay, let me, get, let me get the rest of it in there, and then we'll spread it around with a little bit bigger spatula. Okay, we're going to use this bigger one. 
oh, excuse me, this one down here is the one we're going to use. Going to spread it around nice and even all the way around. And what we're doing, we're making a a uh, surface or a plate or a whatever you want to call it, a field to line up the blueberries and the strawberries. Now, if you're real creative and you can draw a flag, you could do something like that. We kept some, some halves. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do circles. I'm going to start and do it like a clock. 12 o'clock, 6. Notice I'm going to point all of the things to the inside. 3 and 9. Yeah. And then we've got, what's it? That would be 1 and 2 o'clock. Evan ain't got a point. 2 o'clock. I ain't going to have enough, so there's, uh, there's 4. Five, six, mm, mm, seven, eight. Yeah, they've got exactly enough. Eight, and here's eleven, and a big fat, a ten, and eleven. So I've got them in a circle. I'm gonna do blueberries. And you do it whatever you want to. I don't care. I'm gonna draw a line across here. Two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, four. Five in the same way right here. I taught geometry for a few years, so I like I like straight lines, and I like everything to be equally spaced. And when it comes to building flower beds, Sue and I clash because she wants everything in decorative curves and all that kind of stuff. I want straight lines like on a ball field. But anyway, that's all there is to it. That's all you got to do. You put it in the fridge. Let it set for at least an hour and just dip it out in a... Do I need to pick it up? I'm going to pick it up and let you see it, okay? Maybe they won't fall off. You can put more strawberries if you want to, more blueberries if you want to, as many as you got. If, if we were making it for me, I'd probably just dump them all on there. But we're making it for public consumption, so we need to try to be artistic. Okay, we're going to wish, we're going to wish Sue a happy birthday. Uh, I think this will air... On her, on her birthday, or maybe the, the day before, the day before her birthday. So, happy birthday to you there. And then, we talk a lot about uh, the, the situation that we're in here with the, the, the business that we've got going now, the cookbook business. And Sue has told you that we are, we had no plans for this whatsoever. So, we're, we're not business people, but we've been in business for almost two years now but we we've, we've been in God's business for a long time and uh, I, I, I firmly believe that we will be held accountable if we don't take advantage of the opportunities that we have to let people know I'm, I'm not trying to preach to anybody I'm not gonna do that I'm not a preacher I'm not a preacher okay but I know what God's done for me and I know that I'm no special over anybody else in the world. And if he if he will if he'll take care of me and take care of Sue like he's take, taking care of us, then he'll do that for you too. He doesn't he they doesn't end all the hard times and that kind of stuff. But God's there for us, for you and for me. And we want to bless you. Sue said, "Be salt and light." I just I don't have a necklace, but be salt and light. Salt makes things taste better, and light. Light shines and let lets God be seen. Okay, so you got you got my number one. I'll probably hopefully I get better if I ever do it again. But thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.